Now, as the number of COVID-19 cases continues to increase in the Democratic Republic of Congo, UNICEF says thousands of children may miss out on receiving life-saving vaccines, although children have been largely spared by the direct health impact of the coronavirus, they may be affected if families delay seeking other health care services. In 2019, the Democratic Republic of Congo experienced one of the world's worst measles epidemic, with more than 5,300 reported deaths. The deadly measles outbreak was a result of low vaccination coverage, as well as malnutrition in some communities, a weak and overburdened public health system, insecurity and difficult access to health care, especially in rural areas. Measles response efforts have been largely hampered by competing priorities, including the Ebola response, and now UNICEF warns that thousands of children may miss out on receiving life-saving vaccines due to COVID-19. Additional prevailing challenges include poor infrastructure, shortages of vaccines, and in some instances, a lack of trust in health teams. As you know, there are lots of refugees from Angola who come to Shikapa. This transfer of population means that even when the situation is under control, suddenly, because of this transfer of population, there is a fluctuation regarding the measles cases. The United Nations Children's Agency and its partners are conducting measles vaccination campaigns in the hardest hit areas, as well as providing medical supplies for treatment. So far, the agency has distributed 1,317 medical measles kits containing antibiotics, rehydration salts, vitamin A and other medicines to allow affected health zones in the country. The government will also continue conducting vaccination campaigns across the country as the battle against COVID-19 continues. We educate the population of the advantage of the vaccination. A vaccinated child is a protected child. Even if the epidemic appears suddenly, he will always be protected. In North Kivu province, where over 3,000 cases of measles were reported since January, UNICEF is boosting vaccine supplies and protective equipment to continue immunization activities. In Ituri, a vaccination campaign is underway to vaccinate more than 53,000 children between 6 and 59 months against measles. Measles is a highly contagious disease and unvaccinated young children are at great risk of contracting measles and suffering complications, including death. Here in Nigeria, uh, eternally displaced persons in Niger State are worried about the condition of IDP camps provided by the state government. The challenges, according to them, include shortage of drugs, inadequate accommodation and overstretched basic supplies. They want both the federal and state governments to do better, especially in the face of the threats posed by the coronavirus pandemic. Our correspondent, Emperor Simon, reports that at least more than 5,000 persons have been displaced by gunmen in Niger State since renewed attacks by bandits on communities in three local government areas. Kule Rasani is a displaced person from Koki village in Shiro local government area. She and her two-year-old son have been at the Kuta Central Primary School for about a week following an attack by bandits on their community. <laughs> They are part of the over 1,500 other IDPs who are suffering a similar fate at the Kuta camp. We want government to assist us by providing sufficient drugs to the IDP camp here. Since the renewed attacks in Shiroro, Rafi and Munya local government areas of Niger state by bandits, many lives have been lost, several others injured, and at least over 5,000 persons have been displaced. According to the police, the latest attack on Erina in Shiro local government area claimed lives and properties. 
I have about 246 women, uh, children about 662, we have male about 34. In total, that is 933. The casualty we receive on the, these cows, most of them were fractured, and then they were picking down to Kuta town here yesterday night. Some were slaughtered. Only one got dead. With increasing population of IDPs, accommodation is a major challenge. Sometimes over 50 persons, both adults and children, are housed in a classroom. Then hygiene becomes another problem. From the inception, they were using one latrine. The council chairman came in. First and foremost, he sank a borehole here for the provision of portable drinking water. Already, Niger State has recorded two confirmed cases of COVID-19. The need to check the situation of the IDPs has become imperative as social distancing and other preventive measures that will curb the spread of the virus as costly observed in the camps. Emperor Simon, Channel Television News. Still ahead on the program. Teachers in Kenya broadcast classes over community radio to keep refugee students learning after schools closed to slow the spread of COVID-19. We'll bring you details in a moment. Stay with us. <laughs> 